Yes. I, um, I, I, I strongly support our troops. Uh, we have many, many friends with children uh, in Iraq. I believe strongly that it was ill-advised that we, we went there um, and that it was, um, and that as a consequence of that, we need to find a solution to, to get our troops come, to come home. Uh, I, it's difficult to, to ensure that people understand that you, uh, if you oppose the war, you still uh, support your troops. I know people want to make distinctions about that, but truly it is my feeling that, uh, that I, I would be in favor of a resolution that supports our, our children, our families uh, that are, are fighting for us, uh, even though we may oppose the war. Uh, it's a difficult question for the council members, of course, because uh, resolutions of that type may violate their own rules, but, uh, but in, in the spirit of it, I, I certainly would support them. I'm the only candidate in this race that has actually served uh, our country in the military. I'm an ex-Marine. I uh, was in the Marine Corps from 69 to 72. I went by choice and uh, have been a strong supporter of our troops ever since. In fact, just recently, Fairchild Air Force Base uh, made me an honorary base commander uh, out there because of my strong support of our military troops and our families. Um, Mayor Hessian referred to the rules of the council as being a bit of a challenge, and he's exactly right. Um, we have not, as a body, embarked on adopting resolutions for a variety of different reasons, uh, or for a variety of different issues, because that's not what you elected us to do, is represent an opinion about state or national or international issues. You elected us to serve you in the city of Spokane. And so we've tried to narrow our resolutions in support of initiatives or in opposition of initiatives to be specific to how they affect us locally. So if it's a resolution in support of our troops or in support of the families and friends that uh, are here home waiting for their loved ones to return back, I'm on board. You bet. If it's a resolution to take a position on the war, that's not what you elected me to do, either as a council member or as your mayor. And I'm not going to abuse my authority to take a position that is going to be contrary to what my constituents elected me to do, and that is serve this city. Thank you. Councilmember Finch, I think that when we uh, get into the office tomorrow, we should draft the resolution. Um, I think we have encountered this rather legalistic uh, interpretation of the council rules. I, I know I have been frustrated by it in the past when I wanted to bring forward resolutions uh, asking for a thorough cleanup of the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad uh, spill of fuel over the aquifer because we're downstream. And I encountered similar resistance when I um, introduced a resolution or uh, supported a resolution to oppose the transportation of nuclear waste through Spokane on its way to Hanford. But I feel that that's uh, to, to say that these issues are not local issues and therefore the council shouldn't pass resolutions really um, is a specious argument because these issues certainly do affect us in Spokane. Uh, Councilmember French, I thank you very much for your service in the military. I tell you, the Iraq war is affecting us. Um, two of my daughter's dearest friends came home maimed, one mentally and one physically. So you, have, I'm sure, have family and friends who are from Spokane, and we hope they come home to Spokane. And I think that the su support of our troops in Iraq is definitely a home issue. And I would be glad to, to co-sponsor that resolution with you. 